welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Okay, hey, welcome back guys. Um, yeah, a little bit hectic. I'm a bit dirty and that, sorry, but um, I just thought I'd make a video here. It's really cold today, so I'm wearing a jumper and that. So I'll just explain a bit of what I'll be doing today. Something a little bit different, I guess. But anyway, um, you might be able to tell I've raised the front of the skyline to that disgusting level. <laughs> um, the back's still a little bit low. I'll be raising the back up a little bit and uh, I'm just making it pretty much look like it's standard height and uh, what I'll be doing is installing some camber arms in the rear so um, we can just the wheels are really too skinny anyway um, so, so I'll be trying to yeah put the camber arms in and just get that all underway um, pretty simple pretty straightforward It'll probably be dark by the time I'm finished but anyway um, Let's get to it and uh, yeah, see what see what happens. I've never installed these arms in an R33 before, but I've done it in with Sylvia, I've done it in the Beamer, and uh, should be pretty straightforward. So let's go. Alrighty, here we are, ready to go. So we're going to be just removing this um, here, this top arm and then replacing it with the new ones. I'll just go grab them. Okay, so here's the new arm. In hiding in this pocket, you can just pop it out just there. So this, it's obviously uh, rose jointed or I'm going to really call it, and adjustable. So that'll be going in, up in there, sort of like that, if you can see that. That'll be the other way, obviously. And we will have the adjustment of that. We'll be able to adjust it, which will be awesome. But um, ideally, we probably want to adjust that one too. But this obviously has that hiker stuff, so we might be able to adjust that too. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. Let's just get this in there. It is getting dark, so I've set up my light there to get me into the night. So let's go. I've got my breaker bar here. And I've got a 17 and 19 spanner here, and yeah, my 19, my 17. So we're probably gonna start by trying to break that, I guess. So we're gonna walk that the other side. Hey, that sounds like it did something. Right, on the inside, the 17 mil. I don't know if the camera will be able to see this, but what a beautiful sunset. That's beautiful. Oh yeah, anyway, I love those winter sunsets. <sighs> nice temperature. It's about mm, maybe like 16, 16 degrees Celsius. So it's comfortable to work in. Anyway, I went and got my ratchet. Okay, that's the arm out. Hmm. And that's the adjustment for it, the adjustment key. So we'll hang on to that. We'll definitely be needing it. And uh, we're going to have adjustment through here anyway. So I'll try and line it up so it's about the same. About the same. So we are going to have to come out a little bit. A bit bigger. Oh, there we go. Okay, we want to not lose these bits. That's why they're zip tied in. We need those. Let's go ahead and pop this back in. It won't hugely matter what this adjusts to anymore because we'll adjust it from here. So, but we still need to put this in. Okay. 
Oh, it's a tight fit. There we go. That's in. Get that nut on. Just to give you a better view there. That's lining up nicely there. And that one lines up nicely back there. Actually needs to go a little bit bigger. So this way it makes it a bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, back to there. I hope that still fits. <laughs> Alright, yeah, as you can see, really simple to install. That only took about, I don't know, five minutes, things like that. Anyway, start to tighten things back up. Adjusting it will take a lot longer, but. Yeah, that's pretty tight. <laughs> Now, put the same thing back on. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. That's, that's pretty much it. It's in there. Um, I'll try and get a bit of adjustment on it. Now, because obviously this will throw the wheel alignment off quite a bit. And uh, we wanna, we pretty much wanna end up with a positive, or maybe even a little bit of positive camera. So when it squats, it tucks in a bit. Um, but ideally that needs to be done in the shop properly. I'll do my best in the backyard for now. Um, yeah, I gotta tighten up still. I'll just show you these bits. I still gotta tighten up here. Um, that's reverse thread, so that needs to go there. As if you are loosening it, and that one is to go as if you're tightening it. So, yeah, we can. Let's see what happens here. I'll try and show you here. It's like you can see the whole hub moves when I move that a little bit. So, yeah, it's probably getting some toe in a little bit. So, okay, so I've just popped this rim on there. That looks sick. It was actually on there. Um, but anyway, I haven't got tires on them right now. Anyway, I'm gonna use this bit of wood with this to actually see the, how the camber is. So yeah, if I look along like that, I should be able to ad adjust some of the camber just loosely <laughs> like that. So yeah, anyway, I'll have a go at that. Alrighty, so I've got my spirit level. I've got my long piece of wood for the toe in case the toe gets too out of whack. I've got my 24 mil because that's what the uh, adjustable arm needs. I've got my shifter because the other one's 27 or eight mils and I don't have a standard that big, unfortunately. So I'll put my axle stands under now because I am getting under the car and I don't want to get it crushed if in case it falls down. Um, yeah, so that's, what we're looking at now and it's pretty simple to adjust the camber we want to just down downwards is pushing it out okay there's a couple of wines there let's see what that's doing on this side just pushing it out a bit I'm going to be raising the suspension, so it, it's not going to be much higher than, than this, actually. So, um, it'll be... Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be raising it to about this height. So, where the coilovers are now, it's not a bad spot to do the, do the adjustments because when I raise the coilovers, the, car, the wheel will drop more. But when it goes back on the ground, it'll sit at about this height, probably. So, yeah, I've still got to do that yet. Raise them up, but yeah, that's... I'm only raising it up so it's like looks stock and goes over bumps and things way easier. It won't look cool, but it's um, yeah, it'll it'll be looking stock and uh, really fast. I hope. <laughs> Alrighty, let's keep going. <laughs> That's actually starting to feel pretty tight. So, pop that there. Alrighty. 
Right, I'll try and explain what I've done here. I think I've tightened everything back up now. So all that, it's all tight and that's even tight and I think it's where I want it. Um, as you can see here, but just by looking along the car, there, um, you know, where is it there? The cambo looks pretty good now. I had my jack under there to jack it up to. Um, my piece of wood for the toe. So if we go to like this angle here, again, we can try to see what it's like. Try to come up here, see what it's like. I don't know how good that is, but anyway, um, I'll just show with my piece of wood again. I'll try and, I'll try and uh, explain to you how I get the toe. Having this bigger rim, dish rim on there is, is great because it allows me to hit both sides of the rim. So I pretty much hit both sides of the rim and the piece of wood goes straight up the side of the car. I hope you can see that. Yeah, like, so that means the toe is facing forward. Pretty, pretty good. This is totally backyard. Um, so that's pretty good. And then the ground's not level here, so this doesn't mean too much, but um, <clears throat> I can see, like, I can see by just doing that, I can at least sort of see the gap here and I can try and make it the same on the other side, so at least it's even. And then it, it pretty much looks like it's pretty up and down. I don't know, it's, this is the same as I did on my BMW anyway, and that's worked for over a year now. So actually, like that's almost been a year and a half. Um, and it's awesome, so it, it drives great. And I've never got a wheel on it and it doesn't scrub tires or anything. So this seems to work pretty good. So yeah, obviously if you want it professionally, you gotta do a proper wheel on it, but um, yeah, that just about wraps up that. So I think I'll move to the other side finally and uh, get that in and we'll finish this off, see how she looks. Let's just a look inside there, what we've done. You've probably seen it a million times. Anyway, <clears throat> to the other side. <laughs> that's it I've raised it up as you can see it's like a boat again so that's um yeah I don't know it looks like it's stock but it makes about 550 horsepower <laughs> so anyway um yeah we'll go to the dark side see what it looks like still be back there Yep, it's nice and high again. Ugh. Anyway, that's it. The arms are in. She looks stock again. And, uh, yeah. We'll just have to, um, hope that that fixed our problem. Anyway, I'll uh, probably, oops, there we go. <laughs> Get this thing back in track. Um, yeah, I guess I'll end the video there. So, uh, I don't know. That's a little bit more on the skyline. I don't do too much on it, I know, but, um, yeah. Anyway, backyard job again, as usual, backyard wheel alignment. Um, pretty easy to do, though. In general, I ran into a little bit of a problem on one of the, uh, washers there on the inside nut. The, it was a bit stuck because the keyway had come, come off and it was a bit threaded and that, but I got through it. So this side took a little longer than the first side that I filmed, but anyway, it's all done now. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you want to see some more, I'll keep working on the Sylvia and the Beamer and whatnot, be around the place, hopefully some more events soon or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Feel free to give, leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, do that. And uh, yeah, catch you later. And, uh, Enjoy this beautiful winter weather we're having in Australia. See ya.